A satellite launched in 1965 mysteriously came back to life in 2013. Meet LES-1, the original zombie satellite. Zombie? So, did it crave brains or bandwidth? Built by MIT Lincoln Laboratory for the U.S. Air Force, LES-1 was miswired, missed its intended orbit, and was written off as space debris by 1967. Wasn't it part of Project West Ford? Common mix-up. LES-1 was a Lincoln experimental satellite. West Ford was an earlier Lincoln Lab project with tiny orbiting dipole needles. In 2013, radio astronomer Phil Williams picked up a faint VHF carrier from LES-1. The signal rose and fell as the satellite slowly tumbled. Like a lighthouse with a flickering bulb, spooky but steady enough to notice. The best theory? Decades of degradation caused an electrical short that bypassed failed circuits, letting sunlight from the solar cells power the old transmitter. So space-time did a DIY hotwire job. Respect. As it tumbled, the transmitter flickered, strong in sunlight, fading in shadow. Dead batteries, live panels, perfect recipe for a ghostly on-off beacon. Peekaboo Radio. Now you hear me, now you don't. Less One's surprise revival is a time capsule of early space comms, proof of rugged engineering, and a reminder of how those experiments shaped today's military and civilian satellites. From space junk to space teacher. Just maybe don't push a firmware update.